um, my name is Mustafa. I'm a student of uh, College Palomina. I'm taking the one B. So my name is Geronimo. And my name is Robin. The project is about uh, immigration reform. And immigration reform meaning? That means we are going to discuss uh, the, the immigrants' life or situations in the U.S. So far we have thought about a lot of thoughts and ideas and uh, we have done some researches, uh, but we're still working on it. Well, personally, I'm, I'm from Iraq. I arrived to the U.S. Uh, about four years ago. Um, so well, when, a, when a person arrives you know, to, to a foreign country, that, 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 that's a big experience. That's, the, you know, that's a big change. Um, personally, I, you know, I, have, I, have, uh, I have gone through a lot of experience. Uh, I've learned a new language. I've learned, you know, I, you know, I, I have taught myself how, how to deal with the new culture. So that's, that's the main reason for me you know, to, choose, you know, to work on this project. Both of my parents immigrated from Mexico about 20-something years ago, so uh, shortly before I was born. And being in the Bay Area where there is a large population of illegal immigrants, both illegal immigrants and legal immigrants from foreign countries, mostly are, uh, most of them are from Mexico, Latin America, especially here in the Bay Area. So, I mean, it's pretty important, it's very relevant. Unbiased perspective using statistics, etc. As Mustafa said, I'm an immigrant as well, so I've had my own experience trying to assimilate into the new life that I faced with. And we're going to do our, uh, our research, particularly specifically directing to the Mex Mexican immigrants, given their proximity to the U.S. and the the number of the Mexican immigrants. They are the majority, they are number one the majority, and they are mostly populated in five states. First one is California, next to it is Arizona. So with recent Supreme Court decision about the, the constitutionality of uh, the immigration recently passed by the state of Arizona, so we're gonna work on it. Uh, I wanna talk specifically about the, the Mexican Americans. Um, that, that they have a big effect in, in our society here. Um, first, because they have the, they have a large uh, population, and second, uh, the Spanish language is, 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 is one of the powerful uh, languages in the U.S. and in the world in general. Um, a lot of people being rejected, uh, and a lot of people being departed, uh, you know, to their to their uh, mother mother countries for whatever reasons. So. Um, I think this is the this is unacceptable because because people are coming here, you know, looking for a new opportunity. People are, people are trying to survive. If they couldn't survive their in their motherlands, so people people leave their motherlands and come here, you know, look for another for, for another opportunity. And that's how America was created. Like you know, people people you know came from different different places in the world, and that's that you know that's that's how we have in the U.S. It's almost humorous in a way that you can just kind of like, hey, he looks Mexican. They pull you over, and it turns out you're some some other nationality, just like me. <laughs> or if you don't have any proof of citizenship, like, you know, I mean, personally, I don't carry my passport around with me. I don't know if you do, but I don't. So if, but I do have a license. But maybe I left my wallet at home, and I'm just walking down the street. I don't know. So sometimes I think people feel they are disappointed. Um, they feel they are like um, being forced by the government because because when, 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 uh, whenever let's say the cops stop um, a person and ask them for 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 this for um, their IDs probably I think they, they they kind of force them you know you know show them that show them proof to I don't know let's say. Verify themselves. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons we we working on the Im uh, immigration reform. It needs to address the biases and all the legal questions out there affecting people, especially okay, specifically students and you know, parents of students going to school. So. Hey, my name is June. Hey, uh, my name is Jisoo. Hi, my name is Yanshan. And right, what class are you guys taking? 
The class we were taking is English 1B in the summer. Are you guys doing a special project for it? Uh, we're, our topic for our special project is about the Student Success Act. Okay. So, yeah, the Student Success Act, it's an educational law that passed recently by the California Senate. So, it is passed so that uh, it will impact the, all the college students. Um, so, it, the, the, the act, the people who passed the act wanted to increase the graduation rate of college students by providing important access. So, uh, and also we outline our presentation so that, so first we'll be talking about the, uh, the, the act in details, followed by uh, the pros and cons of the, the, of the act. And finally, we'll in interview students about like how they think about the new act. How about, uh, have you done any research up to this point? Have you guys gone to the library, been on the internet, started interviewing people yet? Uh, yes, uh, we do some research online and we found those like students have said it's a really long article so we had to summarize first then to find those main points and talk about it. Yeah, we usually talk about it uh, through Google Docs. We usually talk about it uh, like three times a day. What are you guys' own personal opinion on the Student Success Task Force? How do you feel about it? I think it's an important act because because it's aimed to help students to succeed in college. Because because one one of the, the act one of the things that the act does is to increase like um, access like um, they have like more technology like computers for students to use. Because like now computer is very important in our daily lives right now. Like we need like most of the time we need like internet access. And there are students who are low incomes who could not afford computers. So those computers would help them to see. Hi, I'm David. I'm Angelica. Bob. We're in uh, English 1B with uh, Don. And uh, we're doing a project, uh, a newscast project, where we pick a topic. And um, that has that, might, that will affect the students later in the future, or something that pertains to us. And we chose to do ours on CSU budget cuts. Analyze the budgets themselves and figure out where the money, the budget money comes from, where the funding comes from, and what it's spent on, and how the fluctuations in funding are going to impact different departments and different areas of the university system to see what the impacts of those budget cuts would be. The CSU website publishes their budget. Um, and I've managed to find about 15 years worth of budget on the website themselves and combing through those has been time consuming enough that we haven't, that's, that's where we started. I think once we get some more detailed information we'll probably, probably start looking at other sources but right now we're just pulling it straight from the schools. How are the budget cuts affecting you guys on a personal level individually? I don't know that it's harder. I know it's hard um, but there have been classes I've now been trying to sign up for for a year and a half that are offered every term, but I have not been able to even logging on the first day that classes are available and, and attempting to register, they're already full. Um, it's, well, it's affecting me a lot. Now, one of the biggest reasons why I chose this topic is because, of, like, who doesn't want to know about um, how the money is spent when it comes to education? and. Um, I'm going to um, SF State next fall, and for me to get a class there is extremely hard due to um, the overcrowdedness of the, the class, and all the class, a lot of classes are being cut. So, it's, what's going to take me like two years to to do something? It's taking me like three, maybe four years to do. So, it's, it's affecting me a lot. Uh, for me, I haven't seen it. Sharon. Hi, my name is May, and we're part of an um, English 1B class, and we are doing a newscast project for the class. Our topic of the newscast project is um, budget cuts, and it's about how it's affecting us, the impact, and 
why why we have budget cuts and what's going on. We're just trying to let the students know what's going on. Yeah. We will talk about like the data of the school fee, how it's different between the recent years, and we will show a story about like how budget cut affect the people, the students. Yeah, even though that the school fee is higher, but they still not, doesn't provide this enough service for us as a student. So like, uh, I was thinking that uh, we should protest, like stand up for pride for what we have to. And, yeah, and we are going to talk like, another story is going to talk a focus on graduation because with the class cuts, which means that less people is going to get into the class, and so they are going to delay the graduation day. Basically, how we're going to do it is um, we're going to do a report, and then we're going to do like a skit, a little short skit about um, wait lists and how teachers aren't able to add students just because there's like class cuts and everything, and then we're going to do another report and elaborate on that, and then we're going to introduce our next skit, which is going to be about um, what, as M what May said, um, graduation, and how people aren't able to graduate on time just because there's like um, classes that priorities that go to other students, and then we have our third skit, which is going to be about protesting and how we protest the, like the march and march and everything, and we went to Sacramento, and we're just going to do like skits and reports. Cool. And stuff. Hi, my name is Cristina Perez. Hi, my name is Ariana Gomez. My name is Abigail Hernandez. And my name is Alan Zell. We're in English room B. Okay, and what project are you doing in this class? We're doing uh, the Great Map. This is what we have so far. Um, it's for undocumented students who have been in America for five years or more. And they have served in the military. And what are you trying to hope or advocate for by doing this project? Uh, we're trying to convince people who are opposing this law to be passed to support this law in order for us to be allowed to work in this. Are you guys personally affected? I do. I'm not, but I think it's fair for the Edgerton Act to pass because, um, like, because it's for the students who are undo undocumented and so they're not doing anything else than educating themselves which in the future the this country will benefit from them so I think it should I'm also a Manada affected but I have a lot of friends but and I also care about it and I would like it for it to pass where they could have also an education and receive the same benefits as us as you citizens they should also